When you buy a new hard drive or SSD, it will usually be uninitialized and unformatted, allowing you to format or partition as you please. Sometimes you'll inherit or have a drive of your own that's full of partitions or in an unrecognized format by Windows, but you just want to reset it back to factory settings quickly. This guide will show you how to do that easily in Windows. Oh, and warning, this will wipe that data on the drive, so make sure there's nothing on there that you care about. All right, plug the drive into the PC if you haven't already. In Windows, take note of the drive letter, if you can find it in this PC. If not, that's okay. Right click the Windows icon and choose Disk Management. Here we can see each disk listed, which can have multiple partitions or drive letters on each. But it will still be the one physical disk and be named as such. What you need to do is figure out which disk is the one you want to reset. Windows will usually be C drive, so that's not the one. With a USB drive, it's easy. Plug it in and it pops up. Otherwise, find the drive by its capacity, or if you still can't figure it out, try right-clicking properties to get a description of each drive. It should have the brand name and model. Now that I know which drive I'm going to reset, right-click the Windows icon and choose Run. Type Disk Part and hit Enter. If you want to double check that you're choosing the right disk, you can type the command list disk and hit enter. And that's my USB disk number. Now type select disk and its number. Hit enter. To reset it back to factory settings and delete all partitions and data, type clean and hit enter. That's it. Now you have an uninitialized and unformatted drive. This won't show up in this PC in Windows you'll need to initialize and format it first. To do that, head back to Disk Management, find the drive and right-click Initialize. Then right-click Format and choose your settings. Most of us will just need to change the volume label, but you can also change the file system if you need it to be something else than the default. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to reset a drive to factory settings without messing about. Just select disk and disk part and use the clean command, as quick and easy as it gets. That's all for this one, and I'll see you later. Cheers!